Hey y'all, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. I'm welcome all. If you're new, I hope you subscribe, like, comment, share, and in the comments, tell me who you are, where, your name, where you're from, whatever. I love all that. It's so much fun. But I'm here with some strawberry waffles, y'all. This is new, Trader Joe's. They are $2.29, and three of them are um, 300 calories, so 100 calories a piece. I made two of them. Uh, so if you want to screenshot it. But in full disclosure, I'm not the biggest waffle person. Waffles taste like dried up pancakes to me. Um, I love me a good Belgian waffle, but waffle. But let's try. So what I did is I have the Trader Joe's maple syrup and I took a tablespoon of that and a tablespoon of um, the strawberry preserves and heated it up. I thought that would add a little something. A little mishap in the toaster oven. You know, um, I definitely wouldn't buy them again. I mean, they taste like a dried pancake, so waffles aren't my thing I think they'd actually make a better base for like some strawberry ice cream on it and maybe some chocolate syrup and a whipped cream and strawberries as opposed to for breakfast but that's me let me know do you love them is there something you do special I should know about okay so to wash that down my co-worker at work gave me one of these a sparkling watermelon juice and I had I didn't buy any this summer so these things are so great. 60 calories. And it's, you know, it's so good. So you get that heart hit of carbonation and um, a little bit of sweetness. So, again, like I said before, I got the um, strawberry rhubarb. And this, I don't know, I just love the rhubarb hit, but this was $3.79 and you can buy one so you can open it up buy one for 99 cents and try it and see if you like it or not okay guys so i got the banana ice cream the banana pudding ice cream with vanilla wafers and i have it at work because i tried it yesterday i couldn't wait any longer so i tried it at work i don't like it it's insanely banana forward let's just say that it is but it's still, you know, when banana's not done right, it's not done right. And it's a little bit, um, I don't know, it just tastes a little imitation to me, but it's just so strong. I'm going to try it. I would love to return it. I don't know if I can empty it out and just return the carpet carton. I can't imagine they want melted ice cream back, but I won't even have another bite. So uh, people love it. Good for them. I'd rather get a good quality vanilla cut up some bananas, cut, put, sprinkle some vanilla wafers, a tinge of chocolate syrup. That sounds a hundred times better than this. But you know I me, mean? I'm gonna try them. I haven't had luck and they didn't have that peach one out this year. But um, yeah, so not a go, but um, it was like under $4, but yuck. That's all I'm gonna say, no. I think I even had to go drink something. Okay, organic pineapple chunks. I'm not gonna try it. I'm sure it tastes good. I want to do some kind of pineapple upside down cake and I know it's better with rings but I'll find something to do with this or even a sheet pan but I want to do some of my I have some chicken legs in on the cal I have a pineapple Hawaiian barbecue sauce and put these some onions and veggies I think and peppers that would be good okay so I always like to buy something to share for work you know it's just fun you know there's people who do it and there's people who don't and I'm not going to because other people don't do it, not do it, right? I've had all these conversations in my life. But I got these because when you give, you're open to receive. But these are cinnamon school book cookies. They're elementary, my dear Joe. All right, so I got these because I'm happy back to school. Summer reading is over. So they were $3.99. And uh, I managed to get two. <laughs> So they are insanely good. They're so good. 
Now, when you first get it, they're super hard. These, like, the top boys are on, and they're softer, and they're just as good soft, so. Yeah, I would draw, I would totally get these again. But something like this, you just have to share. I would never eat this up on my own, so. A 10 out of 10, right? I mean, last time I returned, I got some envy apples. They didn't taste like anything. But what, do you guys remember, especially, Barb, the apples I got before that had, like, autumn crisp? They tasted like caramel. They were so good. I got to look for those. can't remember. I have to go watch my video. So I thought I'd try some honey crisp. Again, I'm in the mood for a little unexpected cheddar with honey crisp apples. You guys, so simple, so easy. I got... Um, Another ketchup. That hasn't gone up in price, y'all, yet. $1.99. Or it has it. I, I'm confused now. And the Thai sweet ginger sauce. I really like that. I want to use this as a marinade. Both of these are good. Um, I'm using Trader Joe's when I have two. And when I use one, I get another one. So but that, I thought, I'll probably end up using the whole bottle. So another meal idea that I do with. Is the Geely now? These are like two ninety something, right? Maybe ninety five. I don't remember. These are so good, you guys. If you haven't tried them, they're yummy. And they grab, of course, they grab the um, the sauce grabs the noodle. The noodle grabs the sauce. But I also had this got pesto rosso um, tomato based pesto sauce with Parmigiano Reggiano and cashews. Product of Italy, two forty nine. Now I had bought this before. And it dropped and I didn't think oh yeah that's a problem so when I opened it, it was moldy so I know to self if you drop these things check that thing because if it you might as well just use it because something's happened to it and it's gonna go bad so I'm gonna try not to drop things wouldn't that be the special thing and I thought might go good with it is marinated chicken artichoke halves so these were 229 so the difference to these is calling them grilled and I thought maybe in a, I might make a pasta salad. I don't know, but I'm my goal is next week when I'm off to eat that up. Gosh, I've been sneezing lately. Excuse moi. And I also got these. These are the Happy Trekking Trail Mix: almonds, chocolate, cashews, pistachios, sweet and dried cranberries, and cherries. So the difference between these and the others is there's the dried fruit. You guys, it's $6.99. I love them. They are truly the perfect. Sorry, that's right by my microphone. Though some people, I guess, enjoy that sound. I don't know. Now, if you don't leave them in your car, because you're not thinking, they don't all melt and get together. But they do taste good melted, too. But anyway, it's the perfect snack to have in your purse or put in a lunchbox, whatever. But they really, when I'm just wanting a little something that because the chocolate is just perfect okay so this is something i haven't found forever i use this all the time and one of my favorite things so it's 229 it's the rice cracker medley a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce salt and vinegar and chili with spicy green peas now i don't eat those green peas y'all my friend sandy always ate the green peas but these things so let me I'm going to take some of these for snack today. So you got your little rice cracker. Very vinegary. Not sure what this thing is. Oh my God. That might be my favorite. These little things. This one's not my favorite. And these little things, these peas, nope. Oh my God, they're hot. And these. So, I'll probably save those. I don't know, send them to Sandy. She thinks that's funny. So, I'm gonna have a little sip of something. Actually, constantly putting stuff down, okay. I had, oh, there it is. I had a smoothie. So 
So those waffles, I think I'm going to return them. I mean, it's 229 but that's 229 Okay. So, I got, I decided to try the cheeseburger burrito. So it's cooked seasoned beef crumble with cheddar cheese, onions, tomatoes, and dill pickle. Relished in a flour tortilla. So, um, it has microwave and conventional oven. So, I'm not going to taste test it right now. I want to wait and do it in the oven or the convection oven. And it's like 20 minutes. I think that's the best way to give it a fair shot. Sometimes these things in the um, microwave just, they don't do it justice. So, and this was like four... $49 or $4.99. Um, have to use it by the third. So I think I'll probably try this for you guys on Friday. But yeah, so that is it. Right now, what I'm wanting to try is the, the frozen bobo. And you know, they have this big sneak of all this like pumpkin fall stuff coming out. Most of it I did, did not appeal to me. But I'm going to do... Um, a pumpkin haul and taste test so I'm gonna start collecting things that I'm gonna try and I'll probably do it with Mark and Sue my mom's recipe box and um, now there's things I know I'm not gonna like like they have all these creamers obviously not gonna be trying all that nonsense but I'm gonna try different things I'm gonna take pictures of what's out there that I didn't buy so I already did my local giant when a lot of it's out of stock because I don't think they've gotten it yet Oh my god it's august 31st right this is crazy and i know i have to go do this like in the next week because it'll all be gone y'all it's crazy so that's on my plan and um what i'll try to do is figure out um well I'll, I'll try them for you and then we'll do taste tests but i want you to know if they're good if you you know what i think of them if you want to go hunt them down or not anyways that is my trader joe's haul y'all i hope you uh find something yeah, that you would try. If y'all try this before and what you do with it, let me know down below. I'm curious. And yeah, the rest are just kind of staples. You know, there wasn't a lot of new stuff. I have plenty for my freezer. Like I said, I bought stuff for work. Um, I got chicken tenders. I'm going to try to heat up one of those today in my, the toaster oven and see what that is like. I have the loaded potatoes. Yum. Chicken soup dumplings, one of my top favorites. Uh, and I also bought the colorful carrot coins, but I'm not in the mood for carrots this minute. So I will be trying that. And I think that was um, all I got for work. Okay, and I got a bunch of frozen fruit for my smoothies. I don't know if they're the best deal though, because of the size. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a comparison to everyone and see you know, what place I should be getting from. Of course, convenience, my local giant. I would run in there and get something, but I'll try. Okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And one of my, oh, this is my different channel. <laughs> I'm confused. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye.